Oh, hey world. I hear that you're pretty pissed off with us right now. Mind telling me what's up? Certainly. You've slaughtered more than 25,000 people in Gaza. You're an evil genocidal regime intent on committing mass murder and ethnic cleansing. You're worse than the Nazis. The fact that civilians have died in Gaza does not prove that Israel is committing genocide. It's a regrettable fact of warfare that civilians may be killed during combat, especially when one combatant operates out of densely populated civilian areas and uses civilians as human shields. But South Africa has dragged Israel to the International Court of Justice, charging that it is committing a genocide? If I drag you before a court tomorrow claiming that you just assaulted me, does that prove that the allegation is true? Let me ask you another question. What do you want Israel to do differently? Israel should recommit itself to the two-state solution so that the Palestinians can have an independent state. But don't the Palestinians themselves have to want that? Hamas is committed to Israel's destruction and has promised to repeat October 7th enough times until it ethnically cleanses the land of Jews. Polling conducted by a Palestinian research group in December showed that almost three-quarters of Palestinians believe that the October 7th massacre was justified. How can you force the Palestinians to embrace the idea of a two-state solution when the only solution they seem to want is the annihilation of Israel? Those numbers must be Zionist propaganda. As we all know, anything Israel says is probably lies, and everything Hamas says must automatically be true. Those numbers were surveyed by the Palestinian Center for Policy Survey and Research which is based in Ramallah. Palestine will be free, from the river to the sea. Let's talk more about the war. The war that began when Hamas butchered more than 1,200 Israeli civilians, raped women, and burned babies alive. Under what circumstances would it be acceptable to you and your enlightened friends for Israel to continue this war? Israel needs to conduct its war in line with the demands of international humanitarian law. Israel needs to ensure that it adheres to the doctrine of proportionality. It is clearly not doing that. What makes you so sure of that? Because more than 20,000 Palestinians have been killed in the conflict. That's not really how proportionality works. But if you insist that it is, then what's the solution? If Israel stopped defending itself and allowed Hamas to kill more of its civilians, would you be happier that the numbers were more even? Is your demand that absolutely no Palestinian civilians be killed? Do you make these demands of other armed forces pursuing military objectives? I'm in favor of a free Palestine and that can't be brought about by conflict. Israel needs to agree to a ceasefire without preconditions. It needs to take immediate effect. What you're saying is that Israel does not have the right to defend itself against a paramilitary entity in Gaza that demands its destruction. Isn't that right? Why do you insist that only Israel should be deprived of its right to self-defense? What other states have you made this demand of? Sorry, but I have to go now. My kafia is ready at the dry cleaners, and then I have to join another Gaza protest. Free Palestine.